This video will show you how to use Tinker's item, block, and mob editors for Minecraft. The editors are generally the same for all resources, but I'll explain the minor differences among them along the way. To get to the editors from the Tinker website, go to the Minecraft tab. Here, you can choose the resource you want to edit. I'm going to start by creating a new mob. This page is where you'll see all the mobs you've made. You can activate, deactivate, copy, and share your resources here. Below, you will find mobs that other tinkerers recently created. To see resources featured in the Tinker community, hit explore at the top of the page. In this tutorial, I'm going to customize a pig, but first, I want to show you what my Minecraft world looks like with all my normal pigs. This will all change after we've edited our resource. Now to start editing, I'm going to hit create new mob on the mobs page and select the pig template. And this brings us to our mob editor. At the top right, this is where you can name your resource. So I'm going to name this pig Rainbow Pig. If at any point you want to start over or start editing a new resource, you can do so by selecting a new template at the top left. Along the left, we have our color palette. Here, you can save up to 12 colors for your editing. Once you click on one of the colors, a gradient color map will appear for you to select the precise color you want. Now along the top, we have all our tools. Here's the pencil tool that'll paint a solid color, the texture brush that's just like the pencil tool but it gives more of that Minecraft look, the eraser tool, the paint bucket tool to fill in anything solid, and the eyedropper tool to select a color already painted on the resource. This is also where you'll find your undo and redo buttons. With these tools, I'm going to paint a rainbow pattern on the pig. For blocks and mobs, you can click and drag to turn the resource in 3D. Items on the other hand, all come in two dimensions, so you'll only need to edit one flat image for those. For some of the 3D resources, like this pig here, the different sides are mirrored. That means you don't have to paint the same thing on every side. So as I paint one leg here, the other legs will be painted automatically. Another difference you may run into when editing items is multiple frames. When customizing certain items, like the bow for example, they may have multiple frames for their animations. So make sure you customize every frame in those cases. Now, when you're done editing, hit Save Item. Then you'll be taken back to your resources page. The green circle at the corner of your resource indicates if your resource is active. Now because my rainbow pig is active, all the regular pigs in my Minecraft world will be replaced with my rainbow pigs. This is the case for any item, block, or mob you customize. Now let's see these changes in Minecraft. If you're already logged in, you'll have to disconnect and then reconnect. And upon reconnecting, your custom resources are ready to be loaded into your Minecraft world. And once you join your world, the new resource pack will be loaded and your custom resources will appear. As you can see, all the regular pigs have been replaced with my rainbow pigs. And that's how you use the item, block, and mob editors for Minecraft. 